Hi, this is Will Morrison with Western Computer. I'm a senior production consultant, and today we're going to go through how to add a bill of material to a product. So to do that, use the menu tree, go to Product Information Management, Products, and Release Products. Here's an item that's already in the system. I'll go ahead and click on the hyperlink. Okay, once you get to the release product details form, to create a new BOM, you're going to go to Engineer, BOM Versions. From this screen, you just click New, BOM, and BOM Version. So this will create a new bill of material and the associated version of this BOM, and this will be BOM Version 1. Give this BOM a name and select a site. This won't be a copy of another bomb, so I'll just keep copy to no. Next, I'm going to start adding the bomb components or bill of material lines. I'll click New, select the item number. This example will be D0002. And just to make sure, this is where you can specify a certain quantity. I'm going to keep the quantity at one. It's each. Everything else looks good. And I'll add additional bomb line. Again, I'll keep the same warehouse quantities, units, all of that. Next, I'll hit save. Just to save the record, make sure everything's in the system. Next, I'll click Approval. This is where you select who is approving this bill of material. Go ahead and select value here. Click OK. And now you'll notice that there is an approved by and approved is set to yes. So if I close out of this form, this will take me to the bomb versions form. From here, I will approve this particular bomb version. Same person. Click OK. And then next, in order for this bomb version to be primary build material for this item, this build material will need to be set to active as yes. So next I'll go to activate. And now you'll see that active is yes, approved is yes. Close out of this. And now when you're at your release products screen and you go to active bomb versions, you'll now see this bill of material that was just created. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and please subscribe to Western Computers YouTube channel for new videos that will be posted to that channel.